Alright, so today we're going to be trying to finish this thing, getting it ready off-road. I know that's what I said in the last video. Uh, the, the, I just want to do some stuff that I wasn't able to do in the last video. I want to finish the engines. I want to relocate the air filters. want to put some kind of metal guards around the sprockets because they're kind of sticking out a lot and I don't want them vulnerable to hitting some kind of rock and breaking or bending or anything. So, putting some guards around that. I know I've read the comments about the tires. You guys don't like these tires. I'm going to be replacing the back tires with something that has a little bit more tread. So I'm not I'm not changing the front tires. The front tires are fine. Just changing the back tires. Also, we're going to be reinstalling the uh, choke cables, putting the covers on the torque converters, and I'm also thinking about possibly relocating the batteries because I really don't like them here. They're just out in the open, exposed to everything. This looks really unprofessional, them just sitting right here. So I'm thinking about like either relocating them somewhere else or putting some kind of uh, some kind of plastic casing on here. I have a couple of these. These are uh, these cheap ammo boxes that you buy on Walmart. I thought about putting one of the batteries in here and placing them right here and then another battery right here. I thought about doing that, but I don't know. I may just because that just looks really unprofessional. So we're just going to be trying to finish this thing to get it ready to take off-road. I know I've been saying for the longest time that I've been wanting to take this off-road. Honestly, I'm waiting for warmer weather and I'm waiting for this thing to be finished. So once the weather warms up, once this thing's finished, we are taking this off-road.
man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on, there's some mud on the lens. Yeah, I'd say that, uh, it flings some mud everywhere. <sighs> I knew it was gonna make a mess, I just didn't know it was gonna make that bad of a mess. This kind of... got everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, time to clean it up. It's a great way to demonstrate the power that these things have. It's just, it really makes a mess in my shop and I always have to clean it up, so. All right, so honestly, I kind of, I don't really like how these uh, air filter relocate. I can't really call them snorkels just because it's, they're not really high on the frame. They're not technically snorkels. They're more like uh, air filter relocators with a little bit of protection over the air filter, so I, I'm, I don't really like how they look. I mean, they kind of look really just crappy, but I'm hoping they're gonna look better once I paint them. I mainly wanted to do it to this one just because of all the comments of everybody saying that the air filter is right next to the tire and it's gonna get mud everywhere, it's gonna get wet, and it's not gonna allow this engine to run properly, so this is why I did this. I did it to both of them just because it has to be matching. I can't just do it to one of them. Hopefully it'll look better once I paint it. Somebody in the comments of my Instagram post mentioned possibly uh, wrapping it with exhaust, that heat exhaust wrapping. I'm thinking about doing that. That'll look better because if I paint these, the paint's just going to scratch off real easily and it'll look even worse. So I may wrap this and see if that'll look any better. But um, Anyway, so the new tires work a lot better. They have a lot better traction. Now, as far as the chain and sprocket guards, I do want to add a lot more um, cross members or whatever you would call them to the bottom. I just can't right now because I would have to flip this thing over and I can't do that. So I can't really get to the bottom right now to be able to do that properly. And I don't want to just slap it together and have it look like crap. So. I'll probably be waiting to finish these until I am ready to completely tear this thing apart and paint this. But for now, those are installed. The sprockets are now protected. Hopefully it's going to keep any rocks from damaging them. Hopefully it's not going to... Hopefully, hopefully I can build it strong enough to where if it does hit something, it doesn't bend and press against the sprocket and just keep, the, keep it from spinning. Hopefully it doesn't do that. That's why I definitely want to add more stuff to the bottom. Especially right there, that's going to be the most impact uh, zone right there. But uh, for now, it works. But uh, I, I know you guys really want to see this thing go off-road. I'm waiting for warmer weather, and I'm waiting to perfect this thing. I'm trying to get this thing to run a lot better, to work a lot better. So therefore, when I do eventually take it off-road, it's going to not break down in the middle of the woods. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. That's why I'm trying to perfect everything, make sure everything's working properly, running properly, has enough traction. But for now, I gotta end this video here. Now, I have to thank Go Power Sports for sending me all the parts I use for this project, almost everything you see here. I'll be leaving links to all this stuff in the description below. Go check all that out. But uh, yeah, I gotta end the video here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so today... Why do I do that? Why do I always raise my arms? All right, today we're gonna... I don't know, it's like a... I don't know why I do that. It's kind of like a... Today we're doing this! Hooray! <laughs> uh, I need to, okay, let's try not to do that. But I, I just don't wanna... Today we're gonna be... Doing this. I'm trying not, I'm trying to be a little bit, ah, not, my old videos. Today we're gonna be building a go-kart. It's gonna have torque converter. That's me, that's my old videos. So I'm trying not to be like that. So I'm trying to be a little, at least a little enthusiastic. So, ah, oh, let's, re, let's redo it.
So I was kind of noticing the brakes aren't really working that well on this thing. I was trying to figure out why, and I noticed something. Yeah! No wonder the brakes aren't working that well. This thing's just spinning on the axle. I wonder if the key fell out or something, because I remember having the key in there, and then over in the, you know, at the Ricer Ranch, I noticed that these brakes just like all of a sudden really weren't working that well. So. I think this is why. So I definitely need to put the key back in here and that's probably gonna improve it a lot better. Now I know you guys you guys really want to see what this thing does off-road. I'm re I really want to see what this thing does off-road. I'm anxious to take this thing off-road. Off I'm saying off-road too many. This is I know I repeat myself. Alright? I know I repeat myself. It's I'm trying to be better at this. Not that great at talking to a camera. I try to ignore the camera and pretend like I'm talking to a person that's helped, but um, I know I repeat myself. Let's, uh, let's restart.